as impressive as Sterling Shepard is on the field for the OU Sooners, that wide receiver, um, the lady on the sidelines might be even more impressive. Jenny Carlson joins us here in the Oklahoma's video studio. It's a story that she's writing in Tuesday's editions of the Oklahoma about Sherry Shepard. Uh, Sterling's mother and uh, reading through the story here is quite an impressive lady. Yeah, very much so. Uh, a lot of people know the story about Sterling and, and, and his father too, Derek Shepard, a Sooner who played wide receiver, war number three. Sterling very much following in his dad's footsteps. His dad tragically died uh, in 1999 when he was just really on the, the precipice of a coaching career that he hoped would take him who knows where. He had just landed his first full-time assistant coaching job. The University of Wyoming was up there for a little over a month when he suffered a, a massive heart attack and died. And that left Sherry, a widow, it also left her the mom of three young children at the time. Her daughter Ashley was nine, Sterling was six, and their youngest, uh, Shelby, was three. So she suddenly found herself a single mom with three young children and just an incredible story of resiliency um, on her part to raise not only one that everybody knows about but three really well adjusted and, and successful children. Well and three children going through OU in fact. Sterling Shepard will be honored its senior day in Norman on Saturday as the Sooners host TCU. He's one of three Sooners as you write about to have more than 3,000 career receiving yards for the Sooners, and he could be number two passing Mark Clayton, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Derek Shepard, I remember when I was growing up, watch him play for the Sooners, and he was the impressive mm -hmm. wide receiver back in the days of uh, running the ball. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, Derek Shepard playing a wide receiver for the Sooners at a time that they didn't throw it around nearly as much as they do now. Obviously, a lot of those guys that are, are high on that receiving list in OU history are more recent. Uh, you know, guys like Mark Clayton, uh, guys like Joaquin Iglesias, but very few that have caught as many receiving yards as Sterling Shepard and had a fantastic game at Baylor over the weekend. Uh, 177 yards, 14 catches, two touchdowns in that big win against the Bears. So it's likely to see him rise in those charts. But I think, Dave, as much as anything, you know, fans just love Sterling Shepard. And I think a lot of it has to do with his football prowess, of course. Anytime you're making plays, um, for the team that people love, they love you. But he's also got this personality and backstory that I think people have really come to love. He's an Oklahoma guy, born in the state, uh, raised in Norman and Oklahoma City, attended Heritage Hall. And then he's just, he's got this big broad smile and willingness to sign any autograph and uh, take any fan selfie that, that wants. I, so I think, I think that personality uh, is something that people have really uh, attached themselves to as, as well. You dove into a little bit of the background of the family in your story. You mentioned earlier how Derek, uh, following his NFL career, I believe he played with three teams there, went up to Wyoming and was going to begin his coaching career. But Sherry was successful enough here with Hitachi and then later on with Chesapeake. Yeah that she was going to stay here, raise the kids and follow her career. And then of course he suffered the heart attack. And then the second half of your story kind of looks into the obstacles that she and the family overcame yeah. raising three kids. Yeah, and you're right. She she at the time that Derek goes to uh, to be an assistant in Wyoming in 99, she was already uh, well established in Hitachi, uh, the computer company down in Norman, uh, had such a good job. She really didn't feel like she could find a comparable job in Laramie, Wyoming. So she had decided to stay in Norman with the kids, at least for a while, see how things went at Wyoming perhaps. Uh, Derek and the rest of that coaching staff would get another opportunity somewhere else, but uh, she uh, she continued to work for Itachi after Derek died in human relations. Then she decided to move to Oklahoma City where her parents are. They're a big part of this story too because they were really her uh, left and right hand, I guess, if you will, uh, after she became a widow. They would get the kids to practices, pick them up from school, just make sure that there was somebody else there in case she needed an extra hand, which if you're a working mom with three kids, you've got to have some assistance. And that was her her parents offering that that helping hand. But you know, she, now she's the head of public relations, or I'm sorry, the head of human relations um, at Ascent, uh, which is a, an oil and gas company here in Oklahoma City under the American Energy Partners umbrella. So she's been widely successful in her career, no matter where she's been or what she's done. And um, just a, a fun lady that uh, is impressive from start to finish. And I'm sure she would tell you that her success at home is what she's most proud of. As we mentioned, Ashley, as you say in the story, graduated from OU in December, is now with American Energy Partners. Sterling to graduate next month. 
Probably going to go to the NFL, right? Probably, yeah. <laughs> and nothing wrong with it. And then Shelby wants to do this, being some broadcast journalism yeah. later on. Yeah, which, by the way, Sterling, uh, people may or may not have known this, he's going to graduate in three and a half years. You don't see that very often out of anybody sure. in college, but to have a college athlete who's able to graduate in three and a half years, extremely impressive. One more chance to see Sterling Shepard uh, down in Norman playing for the Sooners this Saturday against TCU. Jenny, thanks for your time. Thank you.